Hi, and welcome to another Zoo to You. My name's Tierney, and I'm an educator here at Zoo Boise. The zoo is home to a variety of unique animals with special abilities. These special abilities are called adaptations. An adaptation is something an animal has or something an animal does that helps it survive in the wild. Two animals that have special adaptations here at the zoo are the red pandas. What kind of adaptations do you think red pandas have? What kind of special things would they need to do in their habitat? If you were a zookeeper, how would you help your animals use their adaptations? In today's video, we're going to look at the special foods that red pandas eat, an adaptation they have for helping them get and eat that food, and finally, how our zookeepers help make sure that our red pandas have a well-balanced diet. One of the first things about red pandas that people may notice is their bright red fur. While the red-brown coloring may seem bright and bold to us, they actually use it for camouflage. Their habitat is composed of thick forests of bamboo that contain rust-colored mosses and tree bark, as well as white fungi. Their colors mimic those that are found naturally in the forest, but also play off the shadows that form off the trees. The contrasting dark and light colored fur matches the brighter areas lit by sunlight with those darker tree shadows. Let's go take a look at our red panda exhibit and see if we can see the pandas or if they're too camouflaged in. Red pandas prefer quiet visitors, so let's tiptoe on over. Zoo Boise is currently home to two red pandas, Dolly and Spud. While both Dolly and Spud have similar coloring, one difference is that Dolly, our female, has darker fur than Spud does and Spud has a wider ring of white around his face. Let's take a closer look at the two red pandas and see if you can spot the difference between the two. Can you tell who is Dolly and who's Spud? That's right. Another noticeable feature of red pandas are their large paws. Why do you think their paws are so big? Are they the same size as a cat's or dog's paw or even your hand? Red pandas have an extra bone in their wrist that acts like a thumb for their front paws. A red panda's favorite food is bamboo, just like right here. But it can be pretty hard to hold and grasp without these things, these opposable thumbs that humans have. To see what life might be like without our thumbs, try drinking a glass of water with your fingers together and without using your thumbs. Is it easy or is it difficult? Do you think you would be able to drink from a glass of water if you were also in a tree? Now, try drinking that glass of water using all of your fingers and your thumbs. Which do you think was the easier way of drinking the glass of water, with or without your thumbs? It's a good thing we have thumbs to help us, and red pandas have a special thumb to help them too. Instead of thumbs like people and other primates have, red pandas have an extra bone in their wrist that acts like a thumb, which helps them grab and hold on to bamboo. Let's watch the red pandas use their pseudo, or fake, thumbs. If we look closely, we can see a bump on the inside of their paw. That's their pseudo thumb. What would you do if you had an extra thumb in your hand? Red pandas eat three to four stalks of bamboo every day, which means Zoo Boise needs to provide a lot of bamboo. Instead of buying large quantities of bamboo, Zoo Boise grows their own for the red pandas. You may have seen bamboo growing around the zoo and near the red panda exhibit. By growing the bamboo on grounds, Zoo Boise is able to save money and provide healthy, fresh food for the pandas. While bamboo is a red panda's favorite food, they do enjoy other foods. The red pandas also receive red leaf eater biscuits, which are specially designed for animals that eat leaves as part of their main diet. The biscuits contain additional nutrients and vitamins to help keep the animals happy and healthy. Sometimes, the biscuits will be modified to provide extra nutrients. For the red panda specifically, we create mush balls with the biscuits. Let's take a look at how this is done at Zoo Boise. Welcome to the Zoo Boise kitchen. To make a mush ball, leaf eater biscuits are placed into a food processor with fruit and water. What kind of fruit would you put into a mush ball? At Zoo Boise, the fruit is typically a combination of apples, bananas, or grapes. Yum! Now, you'll see where the name mush ball comes from. The fruit, water, and biscuits are all mixed into a mushy paste and then molded into a ball about the size of a golf ball, the ideal shape and size for a red panda to be able to hold and eat. The added flavors make the mush balls a perfect reward for the red panda husbandry training and provide extra nutrients for Dolly if she were to become pregnant or is nursing. Now's your chance to think like a red panda or another animal that eats plants. When you walk around your home, what kind of plants do you see? How would an animal eat them? Think about what kinds of tools or utensils you use during meals to make eating easier for you. What kind of adaptation would you need if you didn't have those utensils? Would you consider eating a mush ball? We hope you enjoyed learning about red pandas today. The next time you visit Zoo Boise, be sure to come over to our red panda exhibit and say hi to Dolly and Spud. See if you can tell them apart. 
Remember, Dolly has darker fur while Spud has more white fur around his face. Go ahead and take a look and see if they're walking around and see if you can see those pseudo thumbs. Finally, take a look to see if you can see bamboo in their exhibit or even around the zoo. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day. Bye.